When uh, bananas are picked in Ecuador, they're picked very, very green. And the reason for that is the transit time from Ecuador up here. It's a three-week time frame, so you can't pick a banana that's ripe and come here. You wouldn't be able to eat it, so they pick the fruit green. In order for the person at the end, the consumer, to eat the banana, they're going to have to, um, on our end, we're going to have to bring it in and ripen it. The ripening process is called a gassing. It's an ethylene gene gas that does not affect the banana um, in any way. It helps process it where it brings it along like it's still on the vine. Apples give off ethyl gene, avocados give off ethyl gene. A lot of different items in the produce industry give off their own gas, which this is. This is just a process of that, which ripens the fruit to where people need to eat it. What we do then, we let the bananas gas for 48 hours before we open the room. After 48 hours, we're, we're allowed to, we open the rooms, and if we need to, we start shipping them. The bananas at that time are usually at stage two, but normally we wait till day three to start shipping. And day three, we have a two and a half to three stage banana. On day four, we have a three stage banana, and day five, we have a three to three and a half, which is what the stores are looking for. This here banana was gassed five days ago. We consider this a stage four banana. This is basically what the stores are looking for for retail. A stage two to half to three is more green than yellow. Grade three, stage three and a half to four is more yellow than green. And then when you get to stage five, all you're getting, all you have left is a green tip. The rest of the banana is, is yellow. You know, the bananas are harvested and then shipped. So if they're harvested on one week, they get on a ship at, on Friday leave Ecuador, it takes seven to 10 days to get to the United States. And then it takes two days on a, on a truck to get here. There's basically a three, a three week lag time between when it's harvested and when it gets here. And all points in between, the banana has to stay refrigerated. And you're dealing with customs, USDA, natural disasters, holdups in Panama. There's all this variety of things that can hold up and delay bananas. And if bananas are delayed by one day, it sets off the entire chain. Um, the ripening schedule that, that J&J &J talked about, it's all so time that if it's off one day, then it'll, it'll screw up the color of bananas at the end on the retail shelf.